I'm excited that I finally got to move. Got to move from New York. It was, uh, I, I was able to move because my grandmother passed away. She was 90, she was very controlling. And when she finally went, you know, my friends, I had to explain. She said, well, what happened? I said, I had to go to her house. You know, she had her funeral clothes laid out. She said, that's so sad. You mean she knew it was coming? I said, no, we're Sicilian. She's been planning her death since 1972. You know what I mean? And my grandmother was, was excited. You know, Sicilians live to die. That's their big to-do. She would take me through the house as a child every time I visited her. And she would show me all the furniture, the, the mermaids with the rhinestone nipples, the <laughs> gold-tasseled furniture, and the, you know what I mean? The plastic fruit, the 400 crucifixes, and say, Maya, when I die, I'm going to leave you all of this. <laughs> say, Grandma, you know, may you live forever, because... <laughs> We don't need any of this stuff. But she died and she actually left me like 400 Jesuses. I don't care what your background is. It is almost impossible to throw away a Romeo-eyed bleeding Jesus. I put the few of them in the garbage, you're staring up at me. Why have you forsaken me? I'm like, all right, I'll take you out. The guilt, I moved to Los Angeles 3,000 miles with a box of Jesuses. Thank God I had Mexican neighbors because they make for <laughs> great Christmas gifts. <laughs> I, I know I feel like I'm at home because like, you know, the Mexican people, they're like the Italian people. Everyone's like Olive when they got the same name. You know what I mean? Everyone's about this tall. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandparents, they were a very old world. They didn't want to learn the language when they came here, no matter what. The only thing I could understand my grandfather saying was like, in every story, someone was missing a limb. <laughs> like, that's pretty much what I'd make out. Every story is like, Maya, I go to Rome, and I tell the guy, I'm a Giuseppe de Giorgio. I said, okay. I, said, yeah, yeah. I tell him, Giuseppe. He says, I don't know you. I said, your cousin Gino sent to me. Gino who missed the ear? No, 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 Gino who missed the leg. He's friends with my father, Machuro. I don't know Machuro. Sure, Machuro, the butcher who missed three fingers. He'd give your cousin the salami to put in the leg so he could walk a home. And the guy says, ay, 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 now I remember, Giuseppe, you're the kid who missed the eye, son of the butcher who missed the three fingers who gave him my cousin the salami to put in the leg so he could walk a home. Why didn't you say so? Maya, the guy takes me in the restaurant, he tells everybody the story what my father do for the guy, and a tear come into my one eye. 